it's cold and it's windy and I'm coughing and sneezing and my nose is stopped up and it's amazing and we're going to town. All right, it's a little bit foggy, a lot of moisture in the air this morning. Got some clouds over here. Got a hammer over there and the sun. Normally I'm not wanting it to come up, but today I'm ready for it to come up and burn some of this moisture off. All right, we got, I don't know, five or six miles to town. Have like three quarters of a liter of water, so my pack is super light. It's gonna be a wonderful day. Check out this cloud moving through here. All right, I have a view that just has to be shared. done a lot of views this morning. I may have to cut some of them when I edit this, but we're getting close to the road. I don't know if you can see down there. Um, less than a half mile from the road, so we'll be headed to town for a day and a half. I'm fairly certain that's Jacinto or Jacinto. I don't know. It looks pretty okay to me as far as snow because we only have to go to 8,000 feet. The peak is almost 11,000 feet. All right, I am road walking. Should be a one mile road walk to the PVC. This road walk seems like a long mile. It's not been bad, but you know, when they don't count for anything and you're just walking on the side of the road, it just seems like it's a long way. I think, I see a red sign up here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm not sure at all. I really hope <laughs> that it's Paradise Valley. hikers to tent in the back so there were several looks like they stayed last night I'm so hungry I'm gonna eat all that y'all know what Roadrunner got let's see if those are how they compare I'm not sure what hammer got, but it looks messy. It's a Louisiana <laughs> omelet. <laughs> All right, we got super lucky. We were sitting in there eating, and a gentleman sitting at the counter turned around and said, if you guys need to go to Idlewild, we, he'd be happy to take us, and he had room for three. So we got a ride. All right, he's locking us in. We're in like a, a cattle holder here. Got the big cow in the back. <laughs> All right, he's nailing us in. So we're we may be getting kidnapped and getting taken to Mexico, we're not sure, but we gotta hide from the popo. Oh, I gotta stop the sneezing. All right, we go and resupply him. All right, so we resupplied. I have some LaCroix for the hotel. I'm so excited. This is the best $2 I've ever spent. Real Kleenexes. I've been air snotting and using a piece of cloth for days. And here's my bag of food. Some of this is for the trail and some is for the hotel. And I jokingly told Roadrunner, I bet it's another $100 resupply. 96 bucks. 
which isn't horrible. It's four days plus a little bit for here in town. So it is what it is. All right, so far the people in Idlewild are super friendly. People keep telling us, welcome to Idlewild and then talking about how great the hikers are. My hands are full carrying a bunch of junk, food and everything. And we're just gonna have to figure out something else to do to kill some time. Roadrunner wants to go look at ice axes. That's a whole nother story for when my hands aren't full. All right, we got to the laundromat and it was like a mad rush to get everything changed. We're both changing the rain gear and we have our laundry going over there. And um, yeah, I'll show you around here. All right, so excited, laundry is done. We have clean clothes, but we're not wearing them yet because we're still filthy. So Roadrunner just called the lodging place and the guy was like, where are you at? I'll come pick you up and check in now. So, so far everything's going splendidly. Skies are completely blue, so I'm not sure where this rain is they're talking about. Hopefully it just didn't happen. It's never gonna happen. All right. Roadrunner is waiting for me to stop video so she can video. <laughs> All right, we're still sitting here at the laundromat. Raj told us he was going to be here in five minutes. After about 20 minutes, Roadrunner called and said, okay, we'll just walk. Raj was still there, but he said, no, 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 stay there. He's coming to get us. Five minutes. <laughs> Another 20 minutes later. <laughs> so we'll see how long this takes. We're just standing well, here like... melting already. Yeah, we're just standing here like homeless people with... I've got a kale salad in this bag in the sun, so who knows? So let me get your key. We're gonna be in room nine for you. All right, we made it. All right, Roadrunner already went in, and she yelled, "Oh my gosh, it's so cool!" It's so, so cool. Have a look. Oh wow. It's so warm. We've got a balcony, a bathroom. Check it's this like out. Best place ever. Check it out. Oh, yeah, Alright, it's getting ominous. It's not the storm is coming. Yeah. Alright, Raj, the owner of our hotel drove us down to the brewery and the pizza place. They're both in the same lot. And it is like gotten colder and windier, but there's something going on with cell service right now. Somebody told us earlier, AT&T and Verizon, both towers both kept going down. So I've been trying to text Hammer to let him know uh, where we are, because him and Geezer are gonna meet us for um, dinner, but I can't get a text to go through. So we're just kind of standing in the parking lot, hoping they show up here in a minute. All right, we ate at the brewery. It was really good. Got a big messy burger. It was $9 for one beer though. I mean, that's a bit much. Um, we're headed back to the grocery store to get a couple things, then we're gonna head back to the room and dispatch, AKA Fireball. Hot Sauce Fireball Whitney, whatever her name is these days. And uh, plus one or at the rooms. They have a different room, but we're staying in the same spot. We almost got killed by a car there. <laughs> uh, so anyway, time to go to the grocery store. Okay. Such a cool little town. All right, we are risking our life on this road walk on this curvy mountain road. See, that car ended up down there. Let's hope if someone don't end up down there as we're walking and us in their path. Oh, the good news is the motel's right here. All right, all right, today is coming to an end. It's not even that late, it's maybe seven o'clock. We were settled in the room. As you saw, we went to dinner. Um, it was great food. It was a little pricey. It was 
nine dollars for a draft beer. Um, it was a good draft beer, but still, it was it was a bit. We both had burgers and one beer each, and with tip, it was eighty dollars. So um, we went to the grocery store, and I got a tall boy of Stella for two dollars and fifty four cents. Now, one story that I was going to tell you earlier, I never really got all the way through with it, the ice axe. So my dad had paid extra to have it delivered on Wednesday. The U.S. Postal Service did not deliver it on Wednesday. It was not there when I was at Paradise Valley Cafe this morning. So the tricky part was it finally updated on the tracking to say it would be delivered today, but we were already gone. When I'm next time I'm at Paradise Valley, we're leaving to go up to San Jacinto. So it would be too late to buy one. So it worked out that my dad got a notification that the ice axe was delivered this afternoon. And we were standing at the laundromat and Roadrunner said, I bet the fireball is still out there. So I call fireball. She's like, yeah, we haven't left yet. So she ran in and she found my ice axe and brought it to me. So I have my ice axe. Um, Roadrunner had the same issue, but she wasn't so lucky. Hers, the tracking is unknown. <laughs> Her tracking shows that it left Florida and it's never been anywhere else. So Roadrunner actually had to buy a new ice axe um, here in Idlewild. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Tomorrow is going to be a zero day. Very much looking forward to it. And I'm going to tell you, the coolest thing is clean laundry. This is the first time we have washed clothes in two weeks. So, like, actual real laundry. Laundry. We did buy two Tide things, and we, we doubled up on the detergent. We got them out of the, the dryer, and we were both just, like, sniffing our clothes. And, oh, my gosh, it smelled so good. So, anyway, good night. See you all tomorrow.